everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I will be doing a review on Mark Curley's book. This is, I got the title of it. Well, you, you kind of see it in the background, but it's The Realism Challenge, Drawing and Painting Secrets from a Modern Master of Hyperrealism. I think I said that right. I decided to kind of, I guess, review his book. His art is amazing because it looks realistic. Talk more about this book. And by the way, I know the background's different. I will explain that in another video. I'll be looking down here because my com my computer's down here. So what I really enjoyed about this book is that it kind of takes you step by step. There's a lot of reading that you need to do in order to draw <laughs> the picture. So that's what I really like and he kind of explained where the shadows go or when to add color. I decided to do three simple pages which are two of them are paper and then the third one is popcorn which did not turn out too badly. The steps are like I said very easy to follow they are just simple steps, basics, draw the shapes out, then add shading, add color, and it kind of explains everything. That is what I really like about it. This is my first time doing realism. I've never really done realism before, and hopefully it turns out well because I would potentially like to do more realism art and more cartoonish type of art because I really I really want to try different types of styles and not just stick with one. In this book, he has a couple of pages that kind of teach you about watercolors and colored pencils. In this book that I have, he uses a lot of watercolor. I don't have watercolor, but if I do need some kind of paint, I would thin out my acrylic. I'd just pour some water and use that as watercolors. <laughs> I've done that before in some cases, especially in the Wreck My Journal series. I've kind of thinned out the acrylic with water and it kind of became watery and you can use it as watercolors. If you don't have watercolors, that's kind of the best way, I guess. <laughs> I think you can do the same with oil paints. I've not, I haven't tried it yet, but if you want to try it with oil paints, I suggest using paint thinner, not water because water and oils don't really mix. So. Yeah, just use paint thinner. <laughs> His work is amazing and I would love to be able to draw realistically like he does and so I feel like that's what I'm gonna be working on most of the times. This summer I really want to get better at drawing in general because I feel like I have been slagging off a lot especially with not being able to do art studies and art studies do really help you with getting better at drawing and so I've been kind of not doing that all so well so I really want to get better back into it especially with uh, learning how to draw realistically and he does have a couple of sections where it starts with the basics which is drawing a piece of paper finding the shadows and then going into adding color and adding more shadows and making it the art pop like the popcorn for example which you will see is you know it has a bit of yellow to it so he kind of teaches you that and then it goes to the more harder level where you kind of he teaches you how to draw a clear glass and then he goes into like metal like spoons bell or key and he teaches you how to draw more detailed stuff like a cardboard box um salt and pepper shaker so i really do suggest getting this book if you really want to learn how to draw realistically there are of course other books that are also good for realism but this is the one that i just recently got i will probably be getting more realistic drawing books just so I can learn a bit more. Might do a review on them. I don't know. I'm not planning on getting any, any more anytime soon, at least for now, because I have a lot going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry. I'm like looking around everywhere. I haven't recorded my face in so long, so I'm sorry for that. But from now on, videos like this and whatnot, you will kind of see my face in the bottom area of the video. I don't know which corner I'll put it in. Will be in some corner, but I will have where it shows my face, and I hope you guys like it. I don't know, it's just, I feel like it's better than just doing plain old voiceover. You just see my reactions, and you see my hand movements. I connect with you guys a bit more that way. So yeah, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go and give this video a like, and if you're new to my channel, 
channel be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and more drawing and painting videos and I also made an intro video if you guys want to go check that out that would be amazing um I did work hard on making that it took a while because I had to put in a bunch of clips in yeah I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in my next video